So question seven, write the expression as a sum and or difference of logarithms, express powers as factors. So we have, again, the, the same directions. So we have the, the log of x to the 14th divided by x minus eight base five is our, our expression. This x greater than eight, that is actually our domain restriction. Notice that you can't you cannot divide by zero for one, but also you cannot take the log of a a negative value. So this denominator would have to be greater than eight. Notice that the numerator, because the power is even, the only thing we can't have in the numerator is zero. But since you're saying x is greater than eight, that's already taken care of that. So all we really got to worry about is this piece here. This is just the domain restriction. So notice how we do have a quotient, a division. So to me, that's kind of mirroring this property over here. So if I have a quotient, I can separate it as subtraction. So if you recall, the, the quotient rule does involve subtraction with that if you're talking about the laws of exponents. Here we're talking about the properties of x, uh, properties of logarithms. But anyway, so since this is division, this can be rewritten as subtraction. So the log of x to the 14th minus the log of x minus 8. And these are both base 5s. What I can also do is, that's how they said express powers as factors. This power can be brought out in front as a coefficient or a factor, if you will. Since it's connected by multiplication, it's called factors. So that would be the log of 14 times the log of x base 5 minus then the log of x minus 8 base 5. And this is connected by subtraction, and we don't have any properties up there that look like that. We do have subtraction over here, but notice how it's a log and a log. Not, this is one log with x plus 8 inside of it. So this is actually simplified. So this would be what would be going in our little box here, would be this answer here. So 14 times the log of x base 5 minus the log of x minus 8 base 5.